There are many places around the hospital that people just don't get to see, but these places are very important to keeping this hospital running 24 seven. And that's what this show, Behind the Scenes, is all about. We're gonna take you to those places so you can learn about them. Today we're on top of a coal silo here at the heat plant. This is where we convert coal, oil, and gas into resources that we need at the hospital every day. Like heat, hot water, and steam. So let's get started with our tour. We're here with Kent Nicely, manager of the heat plant. And he's gonna walk us through this tour. Okay, so here we are where the coal comes in. It comes in and off the railway, but can you tell us a little bit more about that process? Yes, I can. This is deep uh, mine coal from Kentucky, bituminous. Uh, CSX and Buckingham Branch delivers it for us. Six cars a week typically in the summer and 12 to 14 a week in the winter. How much does each car hold? Uh, 100 tons. A lot of coal. Yeah. From here, we open the bottom doors, dump it into the hoppers. There's a conveying system of pressure the screen processed by and then is stored in our silos, coal silos. We've got four cars in here now. The uh, bottom doors are open on the cars. It falls into hoppers and is transported through conveyors past the screen and the crusher and into our silos for storage. So after the coal is taken out of the train and into the hopper, where does it go next? It's conveyed top of these four 960 ton silos. And so these silos just hold the coal until you need it, right? It's, yes, it's several days supply. From here, Kent, where does the coal go? It's uh, conveyed into the plant to uh, bunkers above each of the uh, boilers. So Kent, tell us what's behind us. We're standing in front of one of our three coal fire boilers. It's number five. And this is where the coal is burned and turned into... Into steam, yes. Steam. steam. Okay. okay, and you have... You burn more than coal here, right? Correct. While we do have three coal fire boilers, we also have two gas and oil fire boilers. And the primary purpose of the boilers is to heat the water? It's to make steam and heat water for distribution for heating, yes. How many different boilers are run at one time? In the summer, primarily one. In the winter, it would typically take three. And so once the water is heated and it becomes steam, then what happens to it? It's either distributed directly throughout the distribution system or it's converted to hot water that's distributed for heating also or it's used to generate domestic hot water for the West Complex. How hot does, does the flame get in there? The coal burns at approximately 2300 degrees and 380 degrees is distributed throughout the system. Okay. So I see you got a cat here. Yes, yeah, she's our unofficial mascot. That's Mama Cat. Did she just adopt you guys? Adopted us many, many years ago, long before my time here. So where are we, Kent? We're in the Sims room of the main heat plant, the University of Virginia. And tell us exactly what these machines behind me do and also what you do in the control room in general. Okay. These are the continuous emission monitors to uh, meet DEQ and EPA air pollution control requirements. Uh, our byproducts are fly ash and bottom ash. Uh, there's separate storage silos, one of them new upon the project. Uh, the bottom ash is recycled for concrete block manufacturing. The fly ash is used as beneficial fill for land development. You've recently undergone some renovations. Can you tell us why you did that? Yes, we did. Uh, it was to meet the best available control technology for air pollution control. It's controlling our NOx emissions, sulfur emissions, and uh, particular emissions. So basically, the renovations are allowing us to burn cleaner, burn smarter, and pollute less. More, and more economically, yes. Now, Ken, what are we seeing in front of here? While we've been keying on the coal side of the process, we also can burn gas and oil. And this is one of our two gas and oil pipelines. And I understand that you primarily burn coal, correct? Our goal for next year is 90%, yes. And why is that? Uh, again, environmentally and economical. What happens down here, Kent? The steam is distributed throughout the system for heating or uh, condition spacing. It's also used to generate the hot water for heating and the hot water for the domestic hot water use in the West Complex. So what happens is it goes through the boiler, it heats up, and then it comes through this system and it ends up in the hospital or in West Complex. Is that accurate? That, that's correct. Through the pressure we provide, it goes through converters in each of the buildings that uses it where the useful heat's extracted. It's returned to us as condensate. We reclaim about 90% of the steam and water that we 
so far. So that means that it gets reused a second time? It's used over and over again, yes. Now tell us real quick what the qualifications of the people who work in this plant are. What are they? What experience and knowledge do they need? We primarily have mechanics and operators working here, some electrical and some instrument controls. We're very fortunate to have some Army or Armed Forces trained people, other facilities, utility trained people. Well, thanks for your time, Ken. I appreciate you showing us around. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you. So that's the heat plant, our source of heat, steam, and hot water. So next time you wash your hands, you'll know where all that hot water came from. Join us next time on Behind the Scenes.